progress has been made on the Aventador. Getting closer to being able to get this one wrapped up. Yay. All right, we'll start, let's start with the interior. Uh, and it is pretty much done. I have some decals left, I knew, left that I need to attach to the seat, the SV decals. I forgot all about them before I glued the seats in. So that is going to be what it will be. I'll be doing here soon. And then I'll get it attached to the chassis plate and I'll call it a day. Overall, I didn't really worry too much about doing any detail, super duper detailing on the interior, just basic painting, if you will. Uh, I don't plan on, I plan on gluing the doors in the closed position on the body. Uh, the red, the red stripes there, or the red lines on the seats, those were a major pain in the, uh, the ass to get done. I used liquid mask to mask for the masking. This stuff works good. The problem I, was getting everything cut. It took about four or five attempts. From, I lost count. I think it was like five, I think the attempt count was a five, four or five to get to get the, uh, the the masking cut. The problem was when it came down came to end down to this area down to the curvature. Um, the I normally, you know, use the um, uh, Zacto knife, so I just couldn't get a clean cut in some areas. So when you pulled up, when you started pulling up the liquid mask, it was pulling up the other areas that you didn't want to come up, breaking the seal. So over again, I finally had to use a specialty blade that was able, and I was able to get everything cut and peeled up, and and then got it painted. For fortunately, it still wasn't perfect. I had some overspray of the red. I had to come back mask the red and then paint the black again and what have you uh, in my haste i uh, i have a some uh, red that is pre-mixed for airbrushing but it's gloss didn't even think about it sprayed it with the airbrush but it was, and so i had to come back when everything was said and done and hit the go over the seats with a couple of coats of dull coat it's still not as flat as i want but it's better than it being glossy like it was at first so that's i'm okay with it be fine. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Moving on to the uh, engine compartment out back. It's pretty much done. It is done. Nothing else to do. Add to it. Again, I didn't really concern myself with uh, doing any great detail. Just simple, basic painting. Again, it's not gonna be seen really once it's all said and done. So overall, this the chassis piece is pretty much done. Okay. Right, move on to the onto the body. Uh, I got the clear coat on. Not my favorite, not my, it's not going to be my best paint job clear coat from this year. I'm um, really not very happy with it. A couple reasons. I think the weather wasn't, the weather was kind of crappy when I did the clear coat. I uh, really it's humid and just, it's been, our monsoon season has been really active this year. So either raining, humid, just overall really, really crappy weather. So it went on kind of rough. I uh, had some orange peel and what have you. And I have debris in there. I have debris in my clear coat and my hardener for my 2K clear because it, it dries up at, at the uh, at the top where the cap goes on. The little pieces fall into the hardener. So then that makes it into the clear coat. I need to f take care of that issue. Either I think I just need to buy a new can of hardener or strain it, one of the two. Anyways, I've been dealing with that. I'm doing some wet sanding on, on various parts of the body to get it kind of looking better, some polishing. Uh, I got some glue there when I was installing the headlight bucket, so I had to ended up having to wet sand that area and polishing it down to get the remove the glue. So yeah, it's becoming one of those builds. I know I know you know what I'm talking about. We all have those builds where just little things start just going wrong, you mess up, and it just you know. I'm very happy. I would be very happy to get this one done, and just get it finished and move on to something else. But I'm very happy with the color. I like this color. Uh, it's an interesting kind of a red, um, but it does pop. That's about it. I'm getting, it's getting closer to getting finished. Uh, hope by the, hopefully by the end of the week I should have it finished. Just another random piece I have up here, the rear end. Um, I don't know why I just, that's the rear end. Kind of cool. Anyway. So anyways, uh, that is the Aventador SV. It's almost, Getting it close to getting it wrapped up. Uh, again, hopefully by the end of the week it'll be uh, done, I'm hoping. So the next video that I do should be of it completed.